welcome to the Lamaru Pulse NVT site. Uh, we've come down here this morning for a crop walk with some local growers as part of the uh, GRDC funded SA Grain Legume project um, and we've got a spoke site here locally at Lamaru. Yes, yeah, so we had a late start to the season here. Um, the beans that I'm standing in were not sown until late May and the lentils and field peas were sown in early June, on the 3rd of June. Uh, all the crops were sown with 80 kilograms per hectare of MAP at sowing and we've had 150 millimetres of rainfall um, for the growing season to date since sowing uh, with about 18 mils for September. The sites had a, a knockdown of glyphosate at sowing and then it's been followed up with a grass spray and one fungicide spray to date. So probably the pick for varieties of field pea in the low rainfall zone would be PBA Butler, which I'm standing next to. This has performed consistently well across the low rainfall zone um, and has it yielded at the site average or slightly above. Uh, the other one to look out for for low rainfall growers would be the new release variety PBA Taylor. It's a superior line to the dual virus resistant line PBA Wharton, but is higher yielding and has similar yields to PBA Butler in this Lamaru environment. In terms of time of sowing for field pea, um, sowing your crops early will expose them to frost risk as well as um, black spot infection. So you want to make sure you've got good disease control if you are sowing early and pick a mid to late flowering variety so you're avoiding flower abortion during those uh, reproductive growth stages that will occur during the colder months. Last year at a site near Point Pass we had 15 to 28 percent yield loss from from early April sown field pea being exposed to one frost event. So definitely either consider later sowing or uh, make sure you've got your disease control and a mid to late flowering variety if you are choosing to sow field pea early. These lentils were sown also on the 3rd of June um, into moisture. For low rainfall regions, we certainly see a couple of standout varieties, PBA Bolt and PBA Hallmark XT, which uh, have improved tolerance to salt and boron in the soil, so they certainly stand out in the low rainfall environment. <laughs> On this side, we have PBA Hallmark XT, uh, which has performed well at this site in previous years. And we have another variety which is of interest to a lot of low rainfall growers due to its erect plant type and standability which is this um, variety here, PBA Highland XT. So both have the herbicide tolerance characteristics, um, but there's certainly uh, a lot of interest in this variety since its release a couple of years ago. For lentil in terms of time of sowing, generally we see uh, early sowing as beneficial, but you can run into some problems in, uh, I guess, a high rainfall season where you might have too much biomass. In terms of seeding rates, um, the recommended plant density for lentil is 120 plants per square metre, so that's about 45 to 55 kilos per hectare, depending on your seed size. We have done some work into seeding rates in lentil, in particular lowering the seeding rates in the low rainfall or the potential to do so. And you can drop your seeding rate by a quarter of the recommended density without compromising your grain yield production at the end of the year. Increasing your seeding rate is not always beneficial. Uh, there's been times where we've had a seeding rate of up to 180 plants per square metre above the recommended 120. And actually in that particular season, 60 plants per square metre came out on top in terms of yield. So these fava beans were sown on the 20th of May and they had a follow-up rain within five days which helped uh, with germination. For low rainfall variety picks, PBA Marne, this variety here, is particularly well suited as it is a very early flowering fava bean variety and has a short flowering window and does perform well in the low rainfall zone but particularly responds well to early sowing. The other picks would be PBA Samira and PBA Bendok. Um, PBA Samira is very consistent in terms of yield across variable seasons, but also consistent in yield across different times of sowing. And PBA Bendok is a herbicide tolerant variety which has had similar performance to PBA Man and PBA Samira in the low rainfall zones last few years.
Yeah, target density for fava beans is 24 plants per metre square. For most pulses, for sowing depth, you'd be targeting sort of five to eight centimetres. Um, if you are sowing dry, you could go a little bit deeper to chase moisture. Um, but fava bean response to time, time of sowing um, is quite interesting. We do see a large response to early sowing. If they germinate early, um, you don't get that yield response to early sowing from dry sowing fava beans. But last year, uh, we managed to achieve at one site 1.6 tonne per hectare yield advantage from sowing fava beans a month earlier on a break. So this has been a tour of the MVT site at Lamaru. Um, if you are looking for more information on pulses, um, whether that be the low or medium rainfall zone, please feel free to get in contact with myself or Sarah. Um, there will also be information available online and throughout the season.